The Aquarius Home Computer System comes with all this and an amazing feature no one else has. A 13-inch color TV for just $99. So, we're back here, and I've cleaned the bench off and reorganized some things. Got my old TV out. It's a color, because it says it needs color. And we're going to see if this thing works. I have not tried it. So, it's not one of those, oh, he tried it off screen. I do know from the eBay seller, in his description, it showed that it was working. So, <laughs> That could have been a picture from 10 years ago, too. It didn't have the date on the picture. I normally put the dates on the pictures when I post things on eBay. Just so that people can see that, yeah, it's working for me right now. Not like it worked when I bought it from somebody else six months ago, and I'm just recycling the photo because I broke it. But I'm not going to say that the guy did that. Interesting, they never use this one. It's a virgin. This is a virgin. She's still got the foam. Oh, it's not totally virginish. But I'm going to use this here. I'm not using that. I have the little, the little adapter or F adapter, or whatever you call it. The, uh, the, the, what is it? Um, 375 ohm or whatever it is. The thing. I got a thingy. Do I need more light? Let me just turn this one on. A little bit more light here. Just make sure I don't have no shadows happen. So to plug her in, I'm going to first off, I'm going to plug this into the, this bag. Let's get this out of the way. We'll plug this into the television, the old telebox. Bend it a little. I don't believe this is the original cord because I don't see them. I don't think they ever sold cords this strong. It might be the original, but I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of not flimsy, and normally those cords are flimsy. But we'll see. Let's power this up. Yeah, it's going to display. <laughs> and we'll just get rid of the on-screen dunk there. And turn the volume down. We don't need to hear all that static right now. Now, we're going to do this next. And this wall works a monster. Let's see what we got here. Let's make sure it's off. Which way is on and off in this thing? I'm going to assume that way it's off. I'm going to plug it in when it's on and have it. Oh, I always say do this. Shake test. Make sure you don't hear anything rattling like a heat sink came off. Alright, plug you in back here. Ooh, barely get that here. Get in the hole. There we go. That's plugged in. And then we're going to put this. It's on channel 3, which the TV's already on. Plug this into a TV socket. No sparks. We're still good. And we're going to flip the switch and... Don't be lured by Commodore and TI's low price computer keyboards. You're not getting the whole picture. If you want a complete home computer system, the price will pile up fast. Introducing the Aquarius Home Computer System from Mattel Electronics, a complete system for a lot less. It comes with all this and an amazing feature no one else has, a 13-inch color TV for just $99. Buy the Aquarius System by June 20th. We'll send you a $300 color TV for $99. <gasps> Press return to key to start basic. Why is the return key down where the space bar or where the shift goes? Ooh, because this shift is a thick one. So, hmm, fascinating. I guess I don't have an S2. I got the original one, whatever that means. I, people on Facebook were saying, you might have the original one, or yeah, S2. I don't know what that means. So, we got that far. And uh, this is irritating. Do I need it? Does this have, do I have to use the key? I'm just, I got to do, do my first program. 1 0, space. Do I have to type print or can I do, or do I do a shift? Where, where's print at in this one? All right, I gotta type it. I don't know if I gotta do cap, uppercase, lowercase. We'll find out, won't we? Print, and it, where, where is the quotes up there? Uh, where's the back, is this backspace? Okay, that's backspace. So far, everything's basically logical. A little off, but not too bad. You could get used to this keyboard. Do you want to? Mm -hmm. I guess you could. Once you 
if you're anything like it, like me, once you use a certain keyboard for a while, every other keyboard feels wrong. All right, so there we go. Ten, print, hello world. Twenty, go to ten. Um, and let's see if I get works. Ah, it doesn't matter. Case, uppercase or lowercase. Now, now, how do we break this? This Control C break it? Oh, Control C breaks it. See, Microsoft Basic on a Z80. It does work pretty good. Reset. Why do you got to tell me to press return the key to start? Unless maybe there's an option somewhere. And then you see you got that little track mode going. So, so far, so good. This screen has a... It, it, uh, I don't think I can fix it. Uh, picture adjust? Uh, no? Reset? No? Program? Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. I'm going to say there's a button in the back. Maybe there's a knob I control the horizontal height and the vertical height and the horizontal width. So it has a little overscan going on with it. But I keep it because it works great. All right, so we do know that part worked. That's a good sign. Let's turn it off. And remove this. How's this thing come out? Uh, is there... Oh, slides out. There we go. I could be using the simplified instructions, but I'm winging it. Need a bath. I'm going to have to do the old 8-bit um, guy test or thing on this thing. Break out the Windex. I got, I got it. The no-namers. I don't have Windex. I got window. But yeah, I'm going to have to break that up to clean this thing off. Sorry for that. I just had to check make sure. Is the camera actually on? <laughs> I've done that once before. Ten minutes into a video, find out that the camera wasn't on. So, let's see. I'm assuming this one requires... Well, it says... Oh, oh, I see. You can use... If you use the controllers, you can use the controllers with the overlays. Or you can use the keyboard. Okay, I don't care. I just want to see what it does. So, this goes in here. I said... Doesn't it? Is there a notch or something? Oh, there is. Ah, it's a nice design there. You got to put it in and push it down, slide it in. Okay. Instead of it just flopping around at the top like the Ataris and the Clecos did. So let's just see what this thing does. Utopia! Okay. Term of office. Uh, four years? Yeah, that's about right. Light the round. Uh, one, who cares? I have no idea what. Oh, no. That, four? What, what, how long is the round? What round is how long? Point five? What, come on. Oh, don't tell me. All right, so, so here we go. See? They lost me already. No, no. Read the manual. Read the manual. Let's see. How long is it length of office? Blah, 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 blah. The game. Check my equipment, yeah. I got that for exam my controls. No, I don't care about that. Uh, get ready, boo boo, boo, turn it on, and where is it? It doesn't say where I gotta, like, what do I enter in here? Because supposedly there's some pretty graphics in here. I won't see them. Use number keys on computer keyboard to select length of each round. Each round is one. Each round is two. Each round is zero. Each round is reset. Start over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this all over again. Okay. Turn off is one. Length around one, two, eight, fifty. I'm gonna get fifty worked. So then we have the graphics, and I'm assuming, that looks like it's a satellite going by. Okay. So, it works. Don't know what it's working on, but it works. So, we got that. Let's try the next one. Let's see if I can figure this out. Is it push back, push back, no, yeah, push back, yeah, straight up. I'm afraid of breaking something. I don't want to break it before I even use it. But I did get past the point of turning it on and it working, so we are way ahead of the game there. So we got that. So now let's try. I should plug it. Because the other games, 
want me to use a controller, though I guess I could use a keyboard. Let's just plug in the let's plug in the mini expander and just go all out and see what happens with this thing. Let's see. Where are you all? Mini expander. It's like Christmas set not. Okay, so which one? Is, uh, I'm assuming that this. Which which one is number one, number two? Top, top and rail. But it doesn't tell me which one is one, one and two. I'm just gonna assume that one is. I'll find out the hard way. Anyway. Okay, then this beast thing he goes in here and locks in like so and makes it very awkward and big. Okay, but we got that part now. Um, let's try something. Let's go on the basic. Oh, you messed up my screen. Somebody's sending me a, a composite upgrade for this, so that'll be nice. So let's just try something here. Um, this uses um, Microsoft Basic, so it uses things I'm used to. Um, I believe you can use a question mark, which is wherever that's on the keyword. I'm assuming in there, in this part that I can't see. Come on. Oh. Shift. I did. I did space. Okay. Most Microsoft Basics. Print F R E zero. It tells you how much memory you have. Okay. I have 1,731 bytes. I'm gonna put in this 32k memory expansion, and let's see what we got then. Remember, 1,731 bytes. eBay. Okay, good sign it didn't die, so that means that works. Mine is 31037, so that means I, I should have, because it, it's using integers, so it's going into the negative when around past 32K. So I should have, I would assume, 34K, 30, less than 34K. Cool, all right, so we're good there. Memory works. 30 bucks. Not wasted. I think maybe, maybe more than that. Alright, so now we'll break out the old Astro Smash. Maybe we can get some sounds too. Cool. Let's, let's see what this thing can do. Now these go in here like this. I guess they look... That, that, that shape is weird. It just gets me. I don't know why. I'm just using square stuff. Turn around, Astro Smash. I don't know which one's a fire button. The one? Okay, the one's a fire button. Oh, we get some volume back on here. Shades of the Atari. I'm shooting nonstop. Am I supposed to be? Do I have a stuck button? I stop shooting when I press two. One starts your shooting and two stops your shooting. Three jumps you around. I guess that must be like a hyper thingy. Okay. You know, I probably could move this. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Duh. Auto fire single shot hyperspace and shoot. Okay. Two button may not be working right. Well, that sucks. I am getting RF noise. A lot of RF noise out of that. Okay, but we got there. Ah, be quiet for a second. So Astro Smash works. I guess it, it's going to be a learning curve for me because, as I said, I have plans. I have plans. Part of my world domination, I have plans. What I'm gonna do with the Aquarius. Every time I... Why do you keep dinging at me? I don't, I'm not bidding on anything. That I know of. <laughs> Let me see. Where have I got here? Oh, I'm getting messages from somebody. Probably somebody wanting to know, Where's my game? How come Arcadian hasn't shipped? 
because it's not going to ship until the third week. Like I told everybody when they ordered it. But no, they don't get it. All right, Utopia again. I already done you. Get back in the box. As you can tell, my videos are unscripted. Ad hoc. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, what do they do? Uh, improv. Yeah, the improv. So, I just want to, I don't want to see the biorhythms, because I want to see if it's like, where is it at? Oh, it's still in the box. I want to see if the biorhythms is like what I said it was when I was talking about in the other video how it's into your birthday. Let's see what we got here. Biorhythms, if you care. Space, individual two person or two person lifetime compatibility. They ain't throwing you, I mean that's what they said it is, one, two, or three. So one, return. I said one. Birthday. <laughs> oh, nine. Do you, what do you want? You want colons? Okay, colons it is. Where is the colon? Two eight six six. Name Millie. Start date. Oh god. Oh, what's today? The fourteenth. Is this Y two K compatible? We shall find out. Oh one one five two two. Return. It <laughs> starts before birth date. Okay. That's good. Oh, come on. I, I don't want to have to re-enter it. <sighs> it shows my numbers there, but it doesn't let me just return to keep them. So, we, we now know that it's not Y2K compatible. So, let's just go 09... Two eight eight six. When I was twenty. Oh, that's friggin' awesome! You get that? You see that? That's awesome! It's a sin wave, like I said. Now the next question is, why does this have to be in color? Because it says right on here, on the box. Oh no, Utopia said. It. Did this one say it too? Oh no, Utopia said it. This one didn't. Oh no, 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 it says right here. For color TV viewing. And then for entertainment purposes only. You see, by doing my bio rhythms, I'm going to be really good at um, tennis. And I'm going to get me a new girlfriend. Even though I have a wife and child, but I'm going to get a new girlfriend. And hair. I'm going to get hair too. See? I'm guessing that uh, this is like an intersection. Okay, so so on October 1st, between October 1st and October 2nd of 1986, I guess it was an intersection. I don't know. But it works. So I'm like stoked. I'm like, yeah, you didn't waste your money because. I have bought things on eBay and turned them on and they didn't work. Or I turned them on and they go, poof. And they no longer work. So, here we go. Metal Aquarius. I'm going to clean her up. She's going to get a desk of her own. Set up on. I'm going to download the, whatever the emulator is for this one, Aquarium Meh, I think, I don't know why they call it Aquarium Meh, but seriously, take your stuff serious, don't be calling it Meh, anyways, I'm going to download the emulator so that I can start coding on my computer and testing, the emulator runs in Windows, which sucks, because I use Linux, I got Windows on my computers, I just do my best to avoid it, because I am so dang tired of updates, so I'll have to use my Windows 7 machine or my laptop to run the emulator for testing, but, here we go. Aquarius. It works. 